Hey everyone, today we are going to look at a relatively simple lock that all of us have seen obviously a billion times before and we're going to talk about attacking it with a relatively simple tool that everybody has. Now I can already tell a lot of you are thinking, well what's he going to take out a can and you know cut it up and make a shim, what was this land before time? Unsubscribe. No, we are not talking about a beverage can. I'm talking about attacking a lock like this with a cell phone. Most of you should have a smartphone these days, I think. Do you know that Instacode is on smartphones now? Well, if you didn't, you might say, wow, that's amazing. Or you might say, lol, what's Instacode? Instacode is locksmithing software. It's come up a few times in some talks I've given, and I find it incredibly useful in situations where you might have a lock with what's known as a blind code. Now, what is this? If we look at the back of this lock here, okay, well, okay, we've got some, some numbers and so forth. Is this the model of the lock or something? Well, not exactly. This number, 87965, that is an example of what's known as a blind code. A blind code is not the combination or the key bidding that would allow you to open the lock, but it does allow you to look something up in a resource that a locksmith might have. So what was that again? Let's check it to make sure we're right. Nine, no, eight, seven, nine, six, five. All right, eight, seven, nine, six, five. Well, do we know the manufacturer of this lock? I think we do. It's America's favorite hardware store brand, right? Let's find Master. And let's search for that. Hey, we got some results. Interesting. Well, this both look kind of the same, both in the high 87,000. Okay, well, is it a padlock? Is it a, oh, it is a combination lock. It is, what is that? 37, 19, 25. Could that, no, there's no way. It could be this simple, is it? Well, it really is. Let's try 37, pass once to 19, and come around to 25. What do we got? Well, we've got an open lock. Now, not that impressive. Obviously, we could have opened this lock a number of other ways. It's so old, it would even be shimmable. But what if you have, let's say, a keyed padlock. Key padlock here, okay. Well, we've got, oh, well, that's not helpful at all. That's just a blank key. Well, are we gonna get our lock picks out? Maybe not. What do we have on the bottom here? Three, three, five, one. Fascinating. What could we do with that information? Well, break out a copy of Instacode, of course. What was our number? Three, three, five, one. Manufacturer, yep, we're still on master. So let's search for that. Do we get any code results? We get a few. Cuts four, five, okay. Well, what do we know about a little master number three? How many bidding positions does it have? Typically only four. Let's check that top result. Hey, fascinating. Looks like potential key bidding here. And in fact, not only do we get the cut chart, we even get one, five, five, three. What do you say? We go ahead and take our blank key and try to turn that into a cut key and see if that works. Okay, we've got our blank key. We know the bidding code we want to create. Let's go ahead and slap it in our HPC punch and see how it turns out. So we have the card for master padlock here. Big shout out to Rubber Band, a buddy of mine who's a practicing locksmith who mentioned, hey, do you remember when you pull those cards out of the deck, there's two for master. Make sure you don't have the wrong one. I I did have the wrong one the first time I looked at it. I was like, this doesn't look right at all. So it's good to have smart friends who will help you out. If you've never used a HPC style machine like this before, either a blitz or a punch, it is really neat. It's essentially an analog series of micrometer lines. So we have position one. What is our bidding in position one? It's a bidding cut of one. All right. Well, let's find our plunge depth and crank that up to position one. Looks like we're good. Give it a nip. All right, move over to bidding position two. What is our depth there? Well, it's a five. Dial this down to five, punch. And in position number three, we still have a five, still looks good on the five, punch. And in position number four, what do we have as a bidding cut? A three, let's bring her over to three. Might not have quite been on three. Sometimes they like to dance a little bit. No, that looks pretty good to me. And do we have a fifth position on this key? No, we don't. Take it on out. How does that look? Oh, all right. 
And the bidding was 1553. That looks kind of like 1553 to me. But here's the real test. And there you are. Blind codes. Blind codes. Blind codes. Are they around on your locks? Are they leaking information out to anyone who can pay $9 a month with a subscription to some smartphone software? Think about it. Be safe out there. This is what smartphones were really made for.